Hello kitty cats. Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time watching I am love and I guess depending on where you might follow me you might also know me as Kush Kitty Love. Although today I am not a Kush Kitty I'm more of a, of a Kush Reindeer. Um, I'm feeling really cute and festive today. It's cute, but I feel like I'm a, for me, this is a little overdressed. I'm very, very covered, but I love this shirt. I think it's so fun. I do it for the hose. That is very, I like that. That's very on point. I do everything for the hose. <laughs> oh, I got my cute little, I can't really see it. I got my cute, my cute little Christmas sweater stockings, and I got some more some more cute Christmas panties. <laughs> Always feeling fun and festive. Oh, but today I'm having just a nice relaxing day. I am making more cookies for your holiday tin. I hope you'll like these. These are really tasty. I've made these several times, but this will be my first time making them with weed. So I'm very excited to see how they turn out. If you didn't watch my last video, I took a traditional chocolate chip recipe and I made that one dough four different ways. I'm trying to uh, let you know how to make a variety to put in those holiday tins that everybody likes without having to bake too much. So, so far I've made one dough and four different cookies and now we're going to do one dough and two different cookies. Snickerdoodles are always a fun fall favorite. Anything with cinnamon, mm, I love cinnamon. So I have to start now, as always, I have my oven, 350 degrees, and then I have two sticks of infused butter, and it is infused with one and a half grams of space mints. So these are gonna be a little lighter, depending on how big you make the cookies. Some people do snickerdoodles really big. I usually make my cookies really small, but I might make these bigger, because I'm even gonna make, an, classic snickerdoodle where it's just cinnamon and then I'm going to do a loaded snickerdoodle. I feel like for the loaded one we're definitely going to have to have a bigger cookie. So I have my one and a quarter cups of sugar that I'm mixing in with my infused butter and the butter you want it to be room temperature so it's nice and softened. Oh, this is going to be really tasty. You can smell the weed. You can always smell the weed, but yes, I smell the weed. Oh, it's going to be yummy. All right, that already looks good. Might whip it around one more time. Ah. Yes. I hope everybody is already enjoying the holiday season no matter what you celebrate. I love it all, let's just celebrate everything. I should come up with a recipe for each for each holiday tradition. I think I wanna do something for Hanukkah. I think that would be really fun, be a nice treat. Maybe I can make something for Hanukkah and go visit my bestie. Uh, all right, yeah, I think that's good. All right, so while that is mixing low, I already have an egg crack, just one egg. I'm gonna mix in that. And then I have, we're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Vanilla always makes everything so good. Two and three. All right. Let that mix together real nice. Does anybody have any holiday festivals that they're going to? I don't have any events this month. I was thinking about going out for New Year's Eve, but I don't know. I think I might go to a private party instead. There's just, I don't know, there's so much going on. There's one that's going to be really close to my house, and then there's another one that is going to be a little further. It's up by Orlando. I want to do both. I don't know. I wish there was a rave going on. That would be so much fun. Ugh. I was sad. Did you hear they canceled the, the Insomniac Countdown for Orlando? What nonsense is that? I went last year and it was so much fun. I only went one night too. I wish I would have went two nights. It was a lot of fun. I don't know why, what made them cancel it, what, what happened, but I'm very sad about it. 
That would have been so much fun. All right, so we had that all nice and mixed. Now I have three cups of flour with one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and I added one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. And I already whisked this together. You can even take a sifter if you want them to be even fluffier. I didn't want to do it too much, but I think that is pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna mix that in. Oh, and yeah, that is gonna blow up all over the place. So while that is happening, I'm gonna take this and put it over top of it and maybe, maybe it'll reduce it a little bit. I just feel like it's gonna make a huge mess all over my counter. All right, so that is gonna mix together. My oven is already preheated. I have this pan with some parchment paper. Make sure you use parchment paper. You don't wanna use wax paper. Oh, I can turn that up now. It's not blowing as much anymore. All right, so we want that all nice and mixed. And that is it with the ingredients. All I have here is a quarter cup of sugar and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. And then I have for toppings, I have some crushed pecans. I have some chopped caramel pieces. It's real caramel, not the chocolate chips, or not the caramel chips. I like these a lot better. These are some of my leftover ingredients from when I made the cookies yesterday. And then I have, these are new. Uh, I talked about them on my other episode. They're so tasty. They're just Nestle's Toll House. They're little truffle, little lava cake flavor. I can taste cocoa in it. It's definitely not real chocolate, but they're really, really tasty. All right, let's turn this off for a second. Oh, I forgot I locked it. And this dough is very thick. Uh-huh. I'm gonna make a mess. No, I need to get a new attachment for my KitchenAid. All I have is the whisk. I need the paddle. Should order some new attachments. I feel like I might need a little more butter in that. I'm not missing any ingredients. I just did these the other day for the family. There's no wheat in it. And I feel like the batter was not this thick. That's so very, very thick. You do want these a little thicker than normal cookies. That's why you get them so fluffy. I don't know, we'll see, I'm gonna stick with it. I, don't, I didn't have to put any extra last time. I don't know if there's a difference between the, the regular butter and then since I infused it with wheat, I could have even maybe lost a little butter in the, uh, in the process. Maybe some of it cooked down. I don't know, but we will see. I think it's gonna be good. All right, that's what baking's all about, right? Just experimenting. Okay. Now, what you do with these, I'm gonna use, I just use a regular old tablespoon, a big spoon, and you're gonna take, oh yeah, the dough feels good. This is the consistency. It's the same like as if you're making peanut butter cookies. I don't know if you've made peanut butter cookies before. Yeah, it's a lot different. It's not, the dough is not sticky. It's more, um, more flour feeling. It's not like chocolate chip cookie dough. All right, so I want a pretty good size ball. So you just roll it up, just like that. And then you're gonna take it and roll it in the sugar, in the cinnamon and sugar. Make sure you get a lot of cinnamon and sugar all over it. Cover it. And that would be a plain classic snickerdoodle. But we don't want just plain class classic snickerdoodles. I am gonna, what in the world is this Christmas song? This one's weird. All right, so I'm gonna ball up another one. All right, got that nice and good to go. I'm gonna roll it in the cinnamon too. But we are gonna load this one up. The caramel, let's take the caramel 
and we'll smush it smush it down inside of it I'll put two in there we'll see how it turns out but yeah the caramel when you are using the real caramel instead of the chips it does melt like like uh, like caramel would it doesn't stay as well put together as the caramel chips but the caramel chips just don't taste as good all right so I got two pieces of caramel in there should probably do that next time before I roll it and send them in all right but yeah, that way the caramel is inside the dough, so if it melts, it won't leak out, hopefully. And it'll stay inside the cookie. All right, so we got caramel on the inside of it. And I'm gonna take like three, I think three, three or two. Let's do, let's do three. We wanna load this up of the chocolate truffles. And then I'm also gonna take some of the pecans. Yes, this is going to be a fun cookie. I was also thinking about making some cherry pistachio cookies. I've actually never made those before, and I found several recipes on Pinterest, and it seems like everybody is making them the same way, so it's got to be a good recipe. I mean, almost everyone is just repeating the same exact thing. Nobody's making it different, so it's got to be delicious. All right. So that's what they're gonna look like. Got two of them just like that. I think you can see them. I'm gonna finish balling these up and then I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so I have my, my first tray of cookies out. I ended up baking them for 12 minutes since they are a little bit bigger cookie. And then I let them cool right on the tray. I like to kind of undercook them a tiny bit and then just let them cool and cook the rest of the way on the tray. I feel like they turn out better. I can't wait to taste it. It's going to be so good. And then just in case you missed my other video, I pulled out some of the cookies that I made yesterday. They turned out so nice and pretty. I have an Oreo, I have a chocolate m and and then this one's got caramel truffle and pecans. And then I also have one with peanut butter chips in it. And that is just the normal chocolate chip cookie dough recipe. And then I even put it so many of them and they do have weeds, so you can only eat so many, plus it's a lot of sugar. I took, and this is something else you can do, I have a food saver and I balled them up and after they were nice and firm, I stuck them in the food saver so I can freeze them and have them later. So then yeah, that just makes it, and you can even freeze just one or two so that you don't have to open up six or eight of them all at once. All right, let's try this cookie. I wanna cut it in half because I wanna see what the caramel looks like in the middle and how pretty, how pretty and gooey it is. Yes, that is a nice, nice cookie. There's a bite, mm, there's a bite with caramel. Mm. It's gonna be super tasty. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. That is really, really good. Mmm. -hmm. You can definitely taste the weed in it, though. If you're not someone who likes the weed flavor, you can always strain your butter and get the weed out of it. But I know I've said it before. I feel like you're just missing out on a lot of that good THC. And I want, I want the full effect. It's like the RSO. I want every bit of it. I want to make sure I'm getting the full plant. I want to get the full medicine effect. This is one of the classic ones. Mmm. That's really tasty. I actually think I like the classic version that I did more than the loaded version. That's really good. I like the mixture of the weed taste with the cinnamon. I personally love it in there. Mm -hmm. That is very, very tasty. I hope you're enjoying these videos and I hope that you're going to try to make these at home and you enjoy them as much as I do. Happy holidays and I love you. I hope your week is starting off well. Um, and I guess until next time, just don't forget to hit that like and subscribe so you can see more of me. And you can always jump on my link tree, just link tree, kush kitty love. All right, bye. <laughs> Mwah!